Hey guys, Stan with Grid Overland. We're sitting here in a Link 148 all-wheel drive S2, that's a C2 Sleep 2, on the Ford Transit chassis. And we had a comment on one of our electrical videos recently, and we appreciated the comment. This is not an attack on the commenter. We're actually glad he commented this. He said, 12 volts is out of date, and 24 and 48 or 51 volts, the essence of the comment was that those are the future. First of all, let me start out by saying, He's absolutely right. We agree that is the future. However, after spending the last three to four years before 2024 pushing the camper van industry with um, being a part of the team that revolutionized the 51 volt system, putting in auxiliary alternators, putting the devices together to have the right secondary alternator to high idle, all of those things, we just found it was too complicated and it made the end user experience a little too difficult. Um, even with very savvy customers, there were so many different parts from different companies that needed to talk perfectly that when there was a communication error, it led to frustration for our customers. Um, when the system's functioning perfectly, amazing. Off the charts good. It is super high performance. But what we found is that um, the reason behind the 51 volts that we did was so that we could run a super high powered air conditioner off grid. And it worked great. It recharged the battery fast. We could run that AC unit for like 11 hours and it pushed 13,000 BTU. Uh, one of the things that we were doing then on that model of van was putting flares in it so you could sleep sideways. So when we went back to the drawing board and made the decision to go back to 12 volts. It was for a couple reasons. Uh, one, 12 volts in cars has been around since the 1950s. Um, so that's like 70 to 75 years of a technology being used and refined and pitfalls being found and solving all those challenges. And that is why most cars on the market in the US right now are still run on a 12 volt electrical system. It's simple, it's reliable, it's durable, and it's tried and true. Um, the second thing that we found, we solved the air conditioner problem in a different way. We actually order our vans stock with two Ford alternators from the factory, and that's able to push up to 200 amps into our battery system, which can then run our 12 volt air conditioner for five to six hours on high and up to uh, 14 to 15 hours on eco mode. We also give the option to be able to double that battery bank to 8,000 watt hours. So that doubles your runtime on high about 10 hours and on eco mode for like 30 hours of runtime. It's actually kind of crazy. And because we stopped putting flares in and we did a north south bed, it allowed us to clean. Uh, add a ton more insulation and therefore improve climate control in the van. So we went about solving the problem in a different way. The other benefit is that because 12 volts has been around forever, um, it made the electrical system much, much less expensive and more reliable. The other reason we went back to 12 volts after pushing the industry in this 51 volt um, kind of direction for uh, several years is the appliances. We had an alternator that was 48 volts or 51 volts. We had a battery bank that was 51 volts and we did all those things. But in the United States right now, um, most of our appliances, our light switches, our lights, um, our AC units that are the more efficient ones instead of going to a 110 AC unit, our refrigerators, our 12 volt water pumps, our wastewater pump, all of those things for the most part that are readily available are 12 volts. And so what we found is if we wanted to step those devices up to 48 volts or 24 volts, there were less parts available. And then when we did or were able to get the parts, they were more expensive or the supply chain was more difficult. So. In the US, the market for 12 volt appliances is just way more broad, which means that those devices are more reliable because more of them are being sold. They're easy to warranty if they ever did break and they're readily available, which means the cost on them goes down. 
So there's a lot of reasons we went back to that 12 volt system. We solved the air conditioner challenge in a different way by adding more insulation, which allowed us to go back to 12 volts. The whole end game of this is creating a five star user experience by using a technology that's tried and true, that's reliable, that's durable. We make your experience better as an end user. Our whole theory is the van is a, a, an avenue or a portal to endless adventures and it should fade into the background to your adventures, whether that's mountain biking, kayaking, hiking, whatever it is, the van should not be the adventure. It should be the platform to launch your great adventures from. You guys, we hope this helps. We're grateful for the comments. If you have other questions or thought processes on stuff, throw it in the comments. We're more than happy to uh, make a video on why we did what we did. And we know we're not necessarily right and perfect for everybody, but what we've found is by going to this 12 volt system, our customers are having excellent experiences and the vans are being more reliable. And that's a big thing for us is taking great care of our customers and helping them have the best experience that they can have in their camper van.